Wait a sec. Here he is again, Joe Arasimowitz, the top-ranked union rigger in state government. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Well, it doesn't sound like him, but it sounds like what he said. Let's check in with Representative Tom O'Day, Republican from New Canaan and a member of the Transportation Committee. Did you hear what the what the Speaker of the House said about how you there's no way to know what they're voting for? Why did all the Democrats vote for toll legislation that they don't understand? Well, Todd, thanks for having me on again. I, you know, th- there was uh, a number of Democrats in the transportation uh, meeting where we, we the Democrats passed out the the Democratic Senate bill for tolls, the governor's bill for tolls, and the Democratic House bill for tolls who said that they would not be in favor of voting for a bill on the floor unless they uh, had a chance to re-vote on it again uh, in the House and the Senate. I'm hopeful that uh, that, that, that would happen, but uh, you're right. At the, uh, the current language says that if we don't vote on it within 15 days, uh, that it's deemed passed um, once it gets out, and, and that, that obviously is not good. Yes, that that is not good. That clause is probably raising more ire, but it's it's a, kind of a, a tripwire that is making people understand more of how big government works and how government adjusts itself, putting in anti-democratic measures to make sure that it gets what it wants rather than protect the needs of the people. Yeah, well, you know, the last time I was on with you, I, I, I had mentioned how bipartisan is always best. We had we had passed legislation last term that that guaranteed that we'd have a vote on union contracts. Now we've got another one tomorrow uh, that we're voting on. I'm sure will be along party lines. Um, it's for the AG's office, but you know at least we have that, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to vote on any any toll bill uh, with some specificity. But but one thing that I did want to point out to your uh, listeners, you know, uh, the amount of tolls being proposed. You know, in the 80s, like I said before, they had 12 gantries uh, throughout Connecticut. They're proposing 60 to 80 gantries now, uh, and they want uh, $1.1 billion in revenue. And to put that in context, uh, you know, we're the third smallest state. Uh, the smallest state is Rhode Island, and their total revenue is about $20 million. So they're, they're, they are – uh, smaller than us, but they want fifty times the tolls. That's a wonderful number. Thank you for that one. And Delaware, Delaware is the second smallest state, and uh, they're they're right behind us, and they their annual revenue is one hundred thirty two million uh, from tolls, and so um, uh, you know they want you know ten times that almost. Yeah, and and Massachusetts, the biggest in New England, takes in they col- yep. They how much? Four hundred thirty-four million in revenue. Uh, you know, that's a net after because it costs them you know roughly between leakage and the cost to operate another uh, you know uh, sixty to seventy million dollars. So so you know, they're not free. Well, but it's very interesting that state a state like Massachusetts, which is twice the size of Connecticut is is perfectly comfortable with with revenue streams that are 40% of or, or you know somewhere in that vicinity of, of what uh, Connecticut wants and and that's a little bizarre considering that Connecticut already has the equivalent of a high level stream of toll money coming in with the petroleum gross receipts tax yeah our transportation fund with the bipartisan budget that we put together in October of 2017, is actually going to have the com- the, the comptroller uh, Lembo came out on February 2nd of 2019 that we were going to have a 69 million dollar surplus um, in the STF fund. So that sounds uh, like an emergency, huh? And and a, a positive balance of 315 million at year end. So um, you know the, the STF fund is actually with the bipartisan budget we put together is is uh is solvent all right i just got 30 seconds left Repres- um yes uh, speaker our says that the special transportation fund will be broke 
in five years without tolls. Does that make any sense to you? Well, it, 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 well because remember that lockbox we had? Mm -hmm. Well, the lockbox only protects money once it gets into the STF fund. Mm. Governor Lamont's uh, budget sweeps $300 million, diverts it away from the lockbox into the general fund. So that's why we, we've got problems in the transportation fund. It's because they're because already stealing money. They're already di 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 divert diverting well, it from the transportation yes. fund, yes. You like to be a little yep. more polite than I do, but I like to I, get... I, you know what? I, I, I do... I do uh, <laughs> I get along with uh, the, the speaker. Uh, uh, I, I disagree with polls, and I think there's a better way to do it, and polls is just too expensive. Representative Tom O'Day, New Canaan, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. We'll thank talk you. to you again soon. He is a Republican on the Transportation Committee, really smart guy, and very articulate in the debate last week. It was fun to listen to him.